What is up guys, Express Design here, and I am back with another tutorial. So I asked you guys in the previous tutorial in my 3D kind of text, uh, what, what do you guys want? And then um, one of you guys has responded and said banners, headers, and other stuff. Because my previous uh, anime banner did so well, I thought maybe I'll make a new design that people would like. And I have this. This is not too difficult to make and it looks pretty nice in my opinion. It's just simplistic, but it looks it look nice. Not too difficult, not too hard. If you can see, not a lot of layers. So yeah, not a difficult banner at all. But a simplistic one and uh, easy. Uh, so the first thing you do is um, choose a white color, but not as white. Make uh, make it a bit more grayish. So you move a bit down. You fill in your background like that. Then you go choose uh, on Google a nice picture of the anime that you want or that you want to choose. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take the same one. You cut out whatever it's on it, and that's not important. So I'm gonna make it a bit bigger this time. Just like that just put him in the middle like that and uh, now we go to your text tool because it's it's a lot of text uh, just first rasterize the layer and go to your text tool and you can type whatever you want i just uh, began to type um, his name and the series and the japanese title of the series um, so you can do whatever you want uh, pick a color that you like uh, I'll, I'll pick green because you take a font that you like the oriental uh, and i'm just gonna turn that around Gonna make it a bit bigger. Come on, select everything, make it a bit bigger. Not too big, but pretty big. If you think that it is big now, um, make it bigger. Um, the text is too spaced out, so I'll make the spacing zero. There you go. And you just go on a part that you like. I'll I'll go with something like this i'll start with the k yeah there you go and i'll put it behind it there you go i quite enjoy that is copy the layer uh took in uh, another font and i uh, let me see what i have just a normal kind of font and that fits with the other one future earth yeah let's take that one as big as the previous one and just move it a bit more upwards yeah um take the same font or whatever you like um just use two fonts if you make it different too many different fonts it's gonna look busy and it's not gonna look fresh at all and i want that fresh look so yeah i'm gonna put this just a demon so you can just see the demon one then i'm going to copy it and then i'm only the slayer one i'm just gonna put it like this just a bit away from the from the border there you go demon slayer i think that's quite nice as it is uh what you want to do is take the big text doesn't matter which one uh, you take it uh you, you remove the uh, the opacity from the inside and you put a stroke uh, from the outside choose another color maybe i'm gonna choose a bit black i'm gonna make it a bit smaller maybe a three yeah and i'm gonna move that and i'm gonna make it a bit smaller i guess i'm gonna also move that somewhere else i'm gonna yeah right by his side and i think that i think i quite like that uh this time i'll do the same with the demon slayer I remove the opacity from the inside and put another stroke in uh, same color I think I put this color and I put the uh, size on 3 and I put this uh, I guess I'll put this just have to look at the right position and what do you like there you go I think that's quite nice uh, um, so then I make some rectangles just normal rectangles i think i just fill him up with a random color i'll just take the color of his eyes yeah put it around there somewhere and then copy it and then maybe make it a bit big bigger and then put that there and just try to fig fi figure out 
where do you want to position it and where do you think it's really nice and don't make it too busy uh, otherwise it will uh, it will not look as great as you think it will uh, this time I'll take a, a different color again maybe his brown hair I don't know just something from the character that I think will look nice it's mostly black and you make a nice little um, a rectangle and just copy it in a nice little <laughs> sorry not rectangle a nice little square and just copy it put it from the side copy it again what I just did there to copy it and so quickly and paste it it's just control J you copy the, that layer and just remove that a bit make sure that um, the size between them is all the same now um, merged all those layers and just copy it and with control E shortcut and then you do the same until you have a um, a nice long uh, row of uh, little squares and yeah that's it I'm gonna make one more and there you go you have the little squares Okay, I'm gonna go copy it one more time because I did that as well in my previous one. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller so the squares are a bit smaller. I'm gonna put it side by side. This one, maybe a bit more to the left, uh, to the right, and there you go. You have this right now, and this is the background for now. Don't, if you want to change some stuff, uh, change it. But uh, in my opinion, this looks great. Uh, you, then you copy uh, your character, the, f the front one and you double click on it and you put a color overlay and a, a nice color overlay I'm gonna pick a, uh, um, a green as well and I'm just gonna put it behind him so it looks like he's a he looks like he's a, a little bit shadow but yeah like that behind my um my previous banner i put a, a water dragon that he uses in the series that is not the picture yeah there you go, I picked this up, um, this is a nice picture, you can also use another picture just for in the background that you think looks nice, I'm also going to put this in the way at the back, um, maybe a bit bigger this time, didn't I want this image to be bigger, I thought I did, there you go, and also the dragon I put an opacity a bit less, but not too much, like an 80, something like that. Yeah, um, you select all the layers and you copy them and you merge them together. Then you control T them, so you select them and make them a bit bigger. A bit bigger, something like this. And you put the opacity all the way down like to a 13 or 18. You take your brush and you, you remove some parts of it, some, some parts I think that doesn't look nice. You remove there you go uh, what I did then is select them again uh, my whole the, the text uh, merge them make them bigger a bit bigger and then put something at the side that you made something that you think looks nice at the side don't mind anything else just yeah something like this then I copy it again and copied it again and I put it at the side as well and what I did then is just remove the parts that I didn't like like that and this is like this I didn't like that and I'll I think I merged them together yeah and I put the, also the opacity a bit down like 20% maybe a bit more I think uh, I uh, put a texture and if you want this uh, texture you can also always down my graphics pack um, that I made for 100 subscribers then you can use this as well and uh, put, I think I just put the opacity a bit down at 20% there you go just behind your character but in front of the background maybe 10% there you go always looks nice um, my uh, my pay hip and you can download uh, my graphics pack from there so uh, just splash uh, a brush of a color and just put on screen and make it a bit put the opacity a bit down okay now we go into the gradient map uh, this gradient um, 
we're gonna choose a nice gradient that we like um, okay there you go I put it on uh, on top of everything I think I uh, changed the uh, the blending mode to a uh, let me see oh, it looks nice on a hue I think I did a hue but I don't want to do um, I don't want to do red this time so yeah let me change the color up I think I'll pick a blue one I think that's kind of nice um, yeah it's a total difference from the green to the blue I think that's uh, quite a pops out a bit nicer for me and I changed the hue and saturation to like a um, lighter blue I put put up the uh, saturation take a brush uh, go to black and just swipe and yeah I think you have like a nice overlay uh, kind of gradient from the two I really enjoy that uh, this is just you can do whatever you don't have to do this you always can just use what you made just now but I like to put a gradient on top of everything because that pops out more in my opinion I'm gonna put a vibrance on everything put the saturation a bit up and the vibrance as well the last thing we just want to do is merge everything together so you copy everything with ctrl j merge everything with ctrl e copy it again to be safe and you go to filter camera raw filter okay that's not what i actually want to do what, what is this <laughs> what is this uh, what are these things uh anyways uh you can mess with this you can just uh, put it a bit brighter and put the contrast a bit higher uh, the highlights as well, put the shadows a bit more down, put the whites a bit up and the blacks also a bit down. Put the clarity a bit up, uh, just play with it and what looks better and what looks nicer. You can also press on Y and you can see both sides. Uh, what I also like to do is um, noise reduction, what I also what I like to do, not too much. And also like to pop out the, the colors a bit more, but not too much. Uh, we are just looking for the blues because it's only blue in here on the banner so we just make sure those pop out and we go to highlights highlights is, is you can also put that but that's i think that's a little bit too much put the blue a bit more up but not too much like that and we press ok i think the colors are going to be popped out way too much i think maybe that's too much you put the opacity just a bit down there you go i think the, those colors pop a bit more and i kind of like that i'm gonna merge these two layers uh copy them again uh go to camera raw filter again uh go to the last uh ones go to presets and you can also choose a nice one and you just search one uh with this vivid is always nice but this time i think i'll uh, go for another look vintage is kind of nice warm shadows kind of nice i want to get that vintage kind of look you know if I, you know what i mean let's do this yeah put the opacity a bit down there you go i saw another good one if you see another good one do the same thing go to camera raw filter and i thought i saw h photo no. um also copy them again um make a duplicate of them double click it um go to the channels the rgb channels click g and b and then move the front layer a bit to the right or to the left and you have this kind of glitch effect that's also nice in a lot of banners and i think that's it also i put my name on the side there you go you put your name on the side and there you have your anime banner again i think this looks kind of nice not gonna lie um also i want to say something I don't want to do anime banners for the rest of my life, so I'll, I'll start looking for gaming banners um, with, real, with real life persons, uh, it's a different style. I just do this because uh, my previous one got a lot of views, I think it's on 3000 views and I think that's quite a lot. Uh, I'm not going to put this for free in the description, maybe if I hit 50 likes then I'll, I'll put it on. Um, so also I want to say my free banners on my pay hip are gonna be removed uh, by next month so you gotta be quick when you have one of those uh, I'll put some new banners on them some that you can pay for it would be really appreciated if you could just support me in that way 
If you want a custom banner, uh, DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always open. You can hit me 24-7 and I will always respond. Um, really help me out. If you, if you want one, uh, you don't have to. You can always go to my tutorials and make yourself a nice banner. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial on this anime banner again. Also, you can do this with whatever character you want. You don't have to be anime. Uh, you can do it with a gaming character. You can do it not with real life. I don't think it will fit with a real life character. But you can do it with, with every kind of character that you want. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like, do more if you want. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.